updates can be found at csmod.com. This is not an official TSD podcast. This is a Vundablog.com unofficial podcast. This is TSD one sixty. I'm Steven Escudero of Vundablog.com. The questions you hear about the Monster Squad and about Randall getting booty, that'll be me talking. This is my podcast with TESD. Check out Vundablog.com for more of my work and check out Tell Em Steve Dave podcast because it's the best fucking podcast on the planet Earth, with Brian Johnson in it. TESD 160, and was uh, recorded mostly at Florida Supercon. Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Em Steve Dave, an abbreviated version, I imagine. Uh, we have no PQ. He's off making TV. Yeah. It'll work out. I know. Give us a fucking break, man. Yeah, come on. Right? Why don't I sell comics? Well, yeah. you got, even you guys took a little bit of time off. We did. We were we were not here preparing oh, for the we, con. We took can, one week off. I wanted to ask this question. I was waiting to get back. I wish Q was here, though. But Declan sent me a video of you and Mike dancing. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is, what? was going on? They were like on? slow dancing? I don't know what they were doing. No, no. Are you familiar with the, 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 the term Rick Roll? Are you familiar with the term Rick Roll? No. I see is that the, way like I someone see, gets in a carriage and you I see pull the, I, That's a Rick Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Roll is uh, when you tell someone to go to go to a link to look at something and they go there and it points them to the Rick Astley video, Never Gonna Give You Up. It's a weird internet thing. It's like oh, a, it's, it's, a, it's it, like it's like planking. Yes, it's been going on for a while. Yeah, it uh, is. Okay, so, so that's why you're dancing to that song. Exactly. And it was you, Mike, and uh, our friend Marco. Marco. Okay. And uh, there was such a hubbub about the shirts, and you were like, "Fuck everybody," and "Fuck the shirts," and whatever. And I put up a link going, "What are you talking about? We got I don't really the remember Tom Steve shirts." What you weren't here for a week, and um, I had to sort of ask people to stop uh, proceeding with their plans to make our. Licensed merchandise. <laughs> oh. and there's a big yeah. hubbub on Twitter, and they're yeah. like, "What the fuck?" So you, so you thought it was funny? I thought it was funny. D- did you watch the video? I did you, the video. Watch did you check you your work? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, yes. it was embarrassing. It was supposed to be embarrassing. <laughs> I, I can't. How did you? Te- how did you convince Mike to dance in that? I don't have to convince him. He it, did it of his own. Of course, yes, uh, volition. It was supposed to. That's the point. I know you don't understand. I know you're looking at me like... You thought it was funny, though? How long? I thought it was supposed to only be like a couple seconds. How long was the... It was like a minute. Oh, okay. That's that's a little long. And and, and I guess you didn't finish it, but I rapped at the end. Oh, did you? It was ironic. Come on. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I I didn't get to see it. All right. We'll watch it. Uh, James, you got to watch it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, there was some people... Somebody came in here and, and said, after watching it, there's no doubt those dudes are gay. <laughs> For each other. <laughs> uh, if, if, you, if you want to see it. I'm going to need your testimony in court. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, Jansonbob.com slash TESD shirt. It was, it was funny. It was supposed to be a little joke. Where, where can I find it on what? YouTube? YouTube is on YouTube. And you put it up there. And you thought, there. what, this was a slam at Tell Him Steve Day? No, no, no. It was in support of, of your argument that people shouldn't be bootlegging shirts. Yeah. It was supposed to be like, yeah. It's it was his own way, way to, to show us, solidarity yeah. there. Yeah, he and Mike dancing yeah, together. I dancing, come and, come and on, Mike's man. wearing a shirt that says "Tell him Steve Dave knockoff uh, shirt." Yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Like that. Come on, how man. is that? How on earth is that showing support? <laughs> it, 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 All right, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was. It was supposed to be. Fart- they had good intentions. Cool. I don't we know. Did. I, I felt I, I, sense I, of humor, man. No, no. I, I, I think I, it was I, a slam on us. No, it wasn't. I'm not a. If you, I love it when you go back. 
and uh, ch- try to get some shots in. You know, you got you take your own, you take your sure. full share of them, you and Mike. Sure, but deservedly but, so in this case. Sure. Um, <laughs> in the end, but and if you punch back, I am not. I'm not one I'm of those guys. Back. Brian I, is though. Brian's I, I, Brian doesn't like to get punched back. I found. Why you, you thought he punched me back? I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> but Brian loves to dish it out. He thinks he can take it, but I've seen many times where where I've pierced that thin skin. Oh, yeah. I didn't think, I didn't yep. think it was as thin. That, that's as I you. Thought it was. Uh, that's you. <laughs> I can, I can usually take it. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I, I, it's like I'm the Q word doing this. Uh, Are you wondering why my mouth sounds so crackly and dry? It's because this motherfucker right here cannot put together a simple ice tape. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Uh, what's up with uh, Cryptozoic Man, and uh, when can we uh, see it? Are you working on it? Um. Uh, I'm writing issue three right now. Issue one and two are done. Walt just finished the pencils for issue two. So uh, I believe it's supposed to come out sometime in September. I think like this season that we're about to shoot is going to follow the... Um, the creation the, process uh, and the, the, the publishing and... I don't think it can follow the creative process since we're almost done, but <laughs> uh, I, I think it's going to... We're going to have like a party, like a launch party or something like that, they said. Um, so... I'll show you. Um, Look at this guy. Wow, that is the clearest ice tea I've ever seen. Thanks. Fucking welcome. I told two different staff guys like five minutes ago. That's why this is Baltimore, uh, Miami, and not San Diego. Oh, That's man. right, I said it. Oh, the first person to mix up Miami with Baltimore. <laughs> we're going to Baltimore, so actually. <laughs> Yeah, we're going. We're going. To, um, you ever turn on Miami Vice and it's The Wire? It happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to Baltimore Comic Con this year. I was just told. Um, wait, what was I saying? That was a uh, uh, Cryptozoic uh, Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, at, at the end of this thing, if you want to come by, I'll show you one of Walt's pages that's uh, inked and colored and all that shit. It's pretty cool. If you want. I do. Okay. Come on by. It's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I talked a lot. I can't remember what the question is. Yeah. 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 This is transitioning from podcast to yeah. Um, you've read Clerks three already, right? You've yeah. Read I, mean, I don't have to, you have to get too detailed. Whatever you want, but I'm just asking because Randall's based on you, obviously. Are you just reading? What do you mean by obviously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that mean? Yes. So, Randall rules. Um. Does Randall get some some booty? And A, have you been asking for Randall to get some more some more play in the series? Are you happy? No, 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 come on. I've been really yes. I've been so disappointed at the amount of pussy that Randall has got in the Clerks, <laughs> the Clerks movies. It's it's really disheartening. Um, no, I didn't request that Randall get any. Uh, but there is a girl that he uh, is interested in. I'll say that much. And he rewrites, he rewrites it like every three days, so... Uh, yeah, so you never know. Yeah, it's really difficult to tell how it's going to end up. Uh, as he said, and as I've read before, the character of Randall is based off of you, but is it just me, or is the uh, physical similarities between Randall and Walt uh, uncanny? <laughs> Randall, uh, you mean Jeff? I mean, just the character of Randall, I mean, the sweatshirts to the backwards devil's hat to, mm-hmm. I mean, just kind of some of the mannerisms... I feel like uh, if someone didn't know better, that they would guess that Walt, or uh, that the character of Randall is more based after Walt. So visually, you think he looks like Walt, but the asshole personality is on there. <laughs> Actually, no. I, I, when I first saw uh, Comic Book Man, I immediately assumed that Walt was the basis for Randall. And then when I looked it up on Wikipedia, it said he was actually the basis for Jason Lee's character. Yeah, Brody. So. Yeah, like the little Dixie cup thing, and which is all true. Like, <laughs> yeah. when, when I worked at the rec with Walt, every morning he would, and it was like, who the fuck drinks Pepsi at in the morning, you know? <laughs> but he would, he would come he'd come walking across the parking lot and have a little thing of Pepsi with him. And like, he's not a morning guy, so he's like half asleep and shit. Um, but yeah, like very protective of his comics, really into the comics vault thing. And uh, when we first, uh, when Nintendo for the Blades of Steel game first came out, I remember we got a bunch of shit because my my mother got it for my brothers for Christmas, and we found out, me and Kevin Walt, so we took it, <laughs> and I opened it up and played it. 
And uh, she, she was she was annoyed at that, but fuck it. I mean, you know. Yeah. What are you gonna do? It's play to steal. <laughs> Um, if Randall's gonna have a love interest in Clerks 3, is he gonna end up sleeping with his love interest's mother? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a documentary. It's, no, no, it's not. <laughs> you don't have to repeat yeah, everything. Fiction. <laughs> like, you know, somebody will be like, well, what do you want to talk about? And then, like, we'll just make a list. And you don't necessarily, like, I don't like to know ahead of time what we're gonna talk about. I would rather it be, like, so you don't overthink it. Um, <laughs> So, um, in the beginning of the season, we came up with a whole bunch of topics, and um, we ran through them pretty quickly. So, a lot of times it'll be like the day of, and we'll be like, okay, what do you want to talk about? Do we want to watch Mike uh, cry about E.T. again? <laughs> you know, Aquaman, or what? Like, how can we make Mike cry? Does that, that was actually one of my favorite reactions to any banter topic. Was <laughs> the E.T.? Yeah, the yeah. E.T. shit. Oh, God. So, uh, if you, if you're ruining everyone's good time. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, got it. Um, fuck, what did you ask you in there? Uh, yeah. What are your, uh, sorry, what are your top five, uh, favorite, like, movies to just watch with people? Just like your stuff you watch when you watch this bullshit around. To watch with people? Like, no, like your go to <laughs> bullshit watching movies. Like, what is. Um, probably all the Tracy Lords underage stuff. <laughs> um, no, let's see the the like stuff I just put on like if I'm like working or yeah, just hanging out. You're bored. You I put on the Monster Squad. I get bored. I just pop the Monster Squad. Yeah, it's not the Monster Squad. Um, <laughs> uh, I put on Jaws a lot. Um, I'll put on. Let's see. I don't know. I don't really watch movies that much anymore. I, I find myself watching a lot more like serial TV. Um, I'll put on like Friday the Thirteenth an easy one. Uh, Phantasm. I'll put on horror movies. My parents have a sex tape I put on sometimes. <laughs> you know, feeling right. Like I said, horror movies. Mm -hmm. One night in camp. Nah, it's oh, called yeah. uh, it, uh, the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> What's what what TV show are you most into now? To realize uh, it sounds totally like I'm a company man, but Breaking Bad. That's <laughs> great. We love love Breaking Bad. I went Kevin and I and Ming went to the upfronts. Oh, what's your favorite Kevin Smith movie? Uh, it, it would have to be Clerks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which kind of sucks for him because in my eyes, this one song was his first movie. <laughs> uh, but I like the heart of Chasing Amy. Um, I like the version of Dogma that didn't get shot. Uh, like the first draft, I thought was like I, I actually like I, when I read the first draft of Dogma uh, before Harvey and Bob got to it. I was like, I honestly was like, I said to myself, I was like, my friend is a genius. Like this shit is fucking genius, you know. And it's you know the the version that nobody will ever see. But um, Clerks, yeah, Clerks, I liked a lot. It was so from the heart and so like you know. Visceral and, and had real meaning to him, you know, and uh, to me by extension because you know went through a lot of it with him. So, what did you think of Clerks Two? Clerks Two. Uh, when I read Clerks Two uh, and we were talking about it, I said, "I'm going to tell you this, knowing that most of the audience is going to love it." And you should have listened to me, but I was like, take that fucking dance sequence out. <laughs> it's like, for Christ's sakes. I was like, what's going on? But then he redeemed himself by putting King Diamond in there, so I was happy with that. So, look at my ebony sister over there looking at me loving her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me, you, baby. Love, man. Me and you. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Everybody satisfied? All right, man. All right. Tell him, Steve, Dave. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir. Oh. That is that, right, for this week, Walt? That's it. Hopefully next week we'll have BQ back, fire in his belly and all that. So, so. All right. So if, uh, if we're changing the lives of cops... <laughs> All you other little people, you ants, man. I yeah, mean, they, it should be good enough for you. You should be uh, in a, a euphoric state of bliss right now. Yeah, man. I should feel like you're on fucking acid. <laughs>